always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back. Time now 517 uh, shaping up to be another humid day around Acadiana. At least it's Friday. We're checking in now with StormTrack 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Adam, good morning. Well, you know, Alex, I actually have a little bit of good news to oh, tell you. It's tell not us. quite <laughs> as muggy out there okay. and we're seeing the fog getting pushed away. There is still a dense fog advisory in parts of the area until 9 o'clock, but I'm about to show you why we may not see a whole lot more in the way of fog here in the next few hours. Take a look outside right now. Lafayette sitting at 70 degrees. Opelousa is sitting at 66. New Iberia, you're seeing those temperatures in the lower 70s. And looking ahead through the rest of your day, those temperatures climb to around 72 degrees there by 9 o'clock. Some clouds still lingering. Low clouds, in fact. 82 by midday. Now, I think we actually have a little bit better of a rain chance here towards the afternoon and evening hours. Our temperatures climbing into the mid and even upper 80s. Now we were seeing a lot of fog earlier throughout the area. It's really confined to Abbeville and New Iberia and Morgan City right now. Look at the temperatures though in Ville Platte and Opelousas in the 60s. What's going on? Well, look at the dew points. You've dropped down to 63 in Ville Platte, 64 in Opelousas, 69 though in Lafayette, 71 in New Iberia. There is a weak cold front and we've been anticipating this. It's moving through a little bit sooner than models had anticipated, which is taking all that fog away and bringing in some slightly drier air. So we may not see a whole lot more in the way of fog through the rest of your day. We go to around midday. We're tracking some clouds building on in. A few showers are going to start popping up right where that front lays out across the coast. And you can see our future cast is picking up on quite a bit of activity through 3 p.m. Some brief heavy rain that starts to fade away as we head towards 5 o'clock and then into the evening and overnight hours. We'll watch as that front just kind of lays out here and begins to lift back to the north. But we could see our temperatures dropping down into the mid 60s briefly here before that surge of moisture early tomorrow morning. Now tomorrow afternoon, it'll be warm again in the mid 80s. Some clouds building on in Sunday, though, we are looking at storms returning to the forecast and you can see that we are looking at more heat even into next week. Monday, Tuesday, possibly nearing the 90 degree mark Wednesday, though, I want you to pay attention to the forecast. There's already the threat of severe weather being outlined for parts of our area here by the Storm Prediction Center. So a big system on the way behind it, some cooler weather just in time, possibly for Halloween, but we're going to really focus on that forecast in the days to come on Wednesday for that severe potential. Alex. Alrighty, good deal, Adam. Thank you for that. You're right. That is a little good news, but uh, we 